Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 17th of 2020, well, it is titled Perseids Around the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, we see very prominently our Milky Way galaxy stretching across uh, the sky here. And that is our own galaxy as we see it from within. And we also see a number of meteors stretching across the sky. Now one thing different about this one is that you notice that the meteor trails are curved. Now they really in reality they are not meteor trails are nice and straight as they come through the Earth's atmosphere. However, the projection that is used to make this to put almost the entire sky into one rectangular image does cause distortions. So things like the Milky Way, which would look straight on the sky and the uh, meteors, which would look like straight trails in most images are actually distorted and curved by the image. And if you note all of those trails, they all do seem to go back towards the constellation of Perseus, which is off towards the lower left hand side there. And you can trace those arcs back. And if you imagine drawing them backwards, they would all converge around that constellation. That is called the radiant point of the meteor shower. And that is where the meteors appear to come from. And this is again another optical effect because the meteors are all part of the same following the same orbit and traveling parallel to each other through space. So uh, as they come into the Earth's atmosphere, they will all appear to come from the same point and radiate away from that. Uh, but in reality, they're just traveling parallel through space. So it's a similar effect to uh, railroad tracks off in the distance appearing to converge. They don't get any closer together. We know that and neither do the uh, meteors here. They're really not converging back to that constellation. It is just again an optical effect that we see here. Now if you want to notice some of the things easily uh, identify some of the objects in here you can just bring the mouse over the image and it is annotated so that you can see various areas of the uh, image and you'll see some of the things that I've already labeled there the Milky Way galaxy there and the constellation of Perseus off to the lower left hand side. Uh, we can also see again a number of the meteors and you can see two planets two prominent planets in the sky right now which are Jupiter and Saturn that are nicely visible over towards under the arc and towards the right hand side of the Milky Way there. We also see some clouds that are part of the Earth's atmosphere, uh, one up towards the top and another one down below, which kind of blocks out a portion of the Milky Way. And finally, we also see some of the air glow. The air glow is caused when uh, ultraviolet light from the sun strikes molecules in the Earth's upper atmosphere and causes them to glow. So it is a glowing a very high up uh, many miles up there 50 60 miles up in the atmosphere when molecules things like hydrogen or oxygen or uh, the hydroxyl molecule OH molecule are excited and caused to glow uh, by the ultraviolet light from the sun. So it's a little different than the aurora that we often see which are excited by particles which are focused in various areas. The air glow is actually visible anywhere on the earth but generally not as strong as the aurora. So here we get to see a number of those things in the same image in our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 17th of 2020. It was titled Perseids Around the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be solar system prototype. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.